all right, I'm back. It's town dog, and I'm trying to do another little flight today. I'm in my little uh, Albea, I believe it is. Uh, Tommy Hawk PA38. Uh, this flies a little strange, but I'm gonna fly it anyway. I'm not. I like the little plane, but I don't like the way it's not totally got a real good player characteristics on some things. But I do have all the electronics and all the planes and. The flight I'm gonna take down. I'm sitting here in, you know, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm in, I'm in uh, Louisiana, but I don't think I even wrote down the, the field where I'm at. So, first thing I need to do, I guess, is find out where I'm at so everybody will know. Here we go. We're gonna go to the map. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna move my plane, but it'll put it back so that I go out. I'm sitting here in a little gray strip called 4B Ranch in Louisiana. And it's uh, 9LS9, look like. That's what it looks like. I'll, I'll verify that later, later, but looks like what it says. But anyway, that's where I'm located. Altitude of this airport is 80 feet, and it's got a runway 10 to 28. I don't care which way I take off because it ain't going to matter when I get out there. So I'm going to close that now, and that's where we're going to go. So this will automatically put that back by canceling. There we go. Plane is still where it was. <coughs> but anyway, I have no real idea of where these this other airport is from where I'm sitting. We'll have to find it electronically all the way. I looked on the GPS, and let's place it. It's in, it's, uh, I'm going to Tennis Parish, which we've been there before in the YouTube, but in, I don't know, two or three different planes, I think. But anyway, it's a little airport close to a friend of mine where he lives down there. And I'm going to try to fly down that way in here today. And it's inside of a lake called Lake Burn. It's a horseshoe lake, and inside of that horseshoe there's an airport. And people live in there and all. It's, got, it's also a state park. And I'm on, or an international park, I think. But anyway, I'm going to go down there and see if I can find it. But now from here, I don't really know where it is. On the map, I'll see a place that looks a little bit like it on GPS off to the southeast of here. But I'm not sure that's it. It could be something else. I'm maybe looking at the wrong thing. Cause it don't show an airport. It just shows a lake off the river. And it's on the bank of the Mississippi River on the Louisiana side. So I'm going to set up first. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I do know what I need to get me there. So what I need is... You are out of Jackson, Mississippi, which is quite a few miles from here. Well, the airport is 62.8 miles from the Jackson Airport, so the 1260 is the Jackson Airport, I do believe. I got it wrote down here. Mm, somewhere, yeah, 1260, that's it. 11260, and we'll just do both of them. Uh oh, I see right now I got something wrong with my plane, but maybe it'll work. I don't have all my stuff set on my plane. This plane hadn't been reworked since I crashed my machine. This plane may not have everything I need. I can make it work, I think. We'll try it. What it is, when I change this one, it's supposed to change the blue one, it's changing the white one. That tells me my radio stack has not been set up to suit me in the aircraft config. 1260 is right there. And that's 12, that's nav one and nav two. That's these two up here. Now one on the right, on the left, and now two on the right. All about the middle. We'll bring up the DME, so we'll, once we get in the air, the air and pick it up, we'll be able to tell how far we are out. We've got to read 62.8 here, and we've got to have this right here on the heading of, if we come in behind what I think I'm going to do, I may change once I start, but I'm planning on coming in behind my heading going to Jackson will be 55 degrees. If I stay outside of 62.8 or on 62.8 and work my way around, that's where I gotta be right there. I'll line that bar there. And so that's what we want there. I'm gonna see. If, nope, I don't have no auto throttle, so that's what I figured. That's another thing I hadn't got done. Uh, okay, we'll have to make do with what we got. I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna. I could go to the file right down and fix it, but it should be right in the middle of them. Here, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to fly it and see what happens. 
Uh, I didn't check it before I started. I didn't know that I didn't have everything I needed. I would have fixed it. I've got all the pop-ups on me. They have changed the panel out since I put the plane back in. I reset the panel, but I did not go in and reset the aircraft pig to suit me. So well, here we go. This is let the flaps down a little bit here, and we're going to put this thing in the air. And, and I think I'll have all the navigation need except for auto throttle. I hope I'm going to need it. If I don't have it, I won't be able to finish this flight. It'll stop abruptly, or else I'll stop and re re do the config. Let's get a little speed here. See, it's, it's a little top heavy what I was talking about. It's quick to rear up, it may even stall out on kind of it. Fly back up, get above these trees. See if we can get that VOR on. Get a little altitude here. I think this will work. I need at least 3,000 here, 2,500. Somewhere around there. That's all 3,000 for now. And I'm going to set the heading right now where we're going here. Uh, we can go ahead and start on, on a... on a... southeasterly pattern. Let me get that set up our southeast. Somewhere along there. Be alright for now. It's going to turn back the other way, I think. Alright, we got it on. Now, this here is going to tell me where... Jackson, Mississippi is, and I think I just figured out what one opposite side and what I thought it was. All right, let's get this plane up and running. I'm gonna go down to 2,500 here, or 2,000 be good enough. We're 61 point. We were on top of the direction out, as far as the airport's concerned. 62.8 is what we gotta have. So let's move. Uh, let's put this right here, right over here, straight out my left wing. That's what I want. Straight out my left wing. There's the airport we left off of. We don't need to be that high. All we need to do is keep it on. That'll keep it on right there. That's jumping a hundred at a time. I don't like that either. I can't stop that, but it's all right. We'll live with it. Here we go. We're going, I'm still going to move around here. I've got to move away from the airport a little, away from the VOR a little. So that means we've got to put it behind this line here a little bit. So I move away. i got to have 62.8, and then I can arch the, the, I can arch the VOR at 62.8, and I should hit the airport. I was going to come in the back side. Uh, but we're going, and that means, well, we have to set on 5-5 five, five here, that is pointing toward the airport. If I'd have used the other numbers, I'd been pointing away from the airport, but anyway, let's see if we can get this done. I don't know how far we got to go around this arch, but we are moving, well, this is the direction I thought, down. Now we're moving the direction I thought. It felt backwards when we talk about, oh. but now it's, I'm moving in the direction I thought, even though I'm moving more south. Uh, and I'm now moving toward the west, but of course the direction to the north is not exactly where I estimated my eyes. So I've got to come around now to where I'll move to 62.8, and we'll fly until I keep that distance, try to bring that down the line. When that lines, we should be at our own real close to the airport. But we need 62.8 on this number over here on the right on the DME. Keeping the green arrow below the wing to move away. And that would be my wing right there. So keeping it blowing, I'm moving away from the VOR. I've got to get out to 62.8 away from that VOR, which is over, a little over two miles yet. I need to be there before. I need to get on out pretty fast. Before I line that needle over there. Before now, one tries to line, I need to be 62.8 out. I'm moving out pretty fast now, I do believe. 61.1 and going up. Yeah, 
at 62.8, I can put that green arrow straight off my left wing and keep it there. On nav 1, once I get 62.8, I can put that nav 1 dead on my left wing and keep it there. And if I'm over or over or under on the numbers, then I can slowly move away by putting it above or below the wing. But that'll arch the VOR and bring us around to where we want to be. Hopefully. Never say never. Now the little lake I'm talking about on the GPS, I don't have where you can see it, but and it may not even be the right one. I about halfway doubt it, but it, the way I'm going, it can't be it. Oh, I don't think. So I don't see nothing made like that though down this direction. I do know I'm going the right direction. 62.8, right there. Bring it around. Come back around here. I'll done pass it. But that's all right. Get that back on that wing now before we get too far away. 63. 62.8 is what I wanted. I looked off. I was trying to check a GPS or something on the other screen. I don't have the GPS set on direction. I don't even have it logged in. Well, this thing goes too far too quick. All right, now I'm back to there. I've still got to get back on the other side. Of a few miles too too close now. A few, not miles, but a quarter mile almost too close. Get over this way a little bit more again. We're not far enough off probably to cause us to actually miss this uh, angle though. Now one of those that that now that circle I was talking about on the GPS is almost in front of me now. Well, I said it couldn't be. Now it's looking looking more like it. Sixty-two point nine. Now let me move. Bring that arrow back down. So eight, there's eight right there. I'm gonna bring that arrow, green arrow now back down to that white line. I'm gonna line them two lines and try to keep it there. It's almost impossible to actually keep it there, but there we go right there. 62.8. Now I'm gonna bring this GPS back over about a minute. Right, whoops, little slide that is. You believe that? All right, here we go, right here. Now, what I'm talking about, that right there looks like where the airport is. Right there, straight about the 150 up our little horseshoe lake there on off the river. I believe that's where we're going, but it's got a, it's in front of me now. I want to go away and I thought it wasn't going there. I think that's where we're going, but I, I'm not using that. I just happen to be lying with that. And I'm watching to make sure. I do see an airport in front of me. I don't know if it's going to be it or not. I'll know when I get there. The arrow is the top. The left-hand needle should line as we come upon it. I am 62.8 still, so I'm in good shape. On the distance, I hadn't changed anything. I'm now I'm gonna move, turn a couple degrees in to bring that arrow back up. It's starting to work down. If it gets down much, we'll start moving away. I don't want to move away. I want to stay the same distance. That may not be the airport. I don't believe it is. I believe we're still further out in that. In fact, I'm saying we're still about 15, 20 miles out, or maybe a little more. <clears throat> but 62.8 right. Uh, if I arch the, I can arch the <coughs> VOR and not get any further away or any closer and still move my way into the airport if I have to move the complete circle around the VOR. But it's between me and the river, so. As I come around, I'll automatically coach across the river sooner or later. It's got to be right where I cross that, that's where it's got to be at. But I'll be coming around to it at that point. Now let's see what we got here. I'm 62.8 still, I'm good. The nav one on the right at the top is starting to get the green too low, so I'm turning to the right, bring it back up. I want to keep it parallel across that yellow needle or close to it. 
and long as it stays parallel, well, see now I'm 67, which I'm a little bit too close. So that means I need to go away just a little bit. So I'm going to move away and bring a needle down. I need to move away a little bit. I'll get, if I get too close, I keep going. I'm one tenth too close already. Now we're going back down. You don't see it, but it's going back down. As long as that green arrow is below the center, we should be moving away. Keep moving along, see if we get right. Now, I see some places out in front of me, way out there, that could be coming into play as we get around here. I'll recognize the lake when I get there in the airport. <clears throat> Been there in real life one time. I spent about four days in a little motel down there visiting my friend. I could have stayed with him. He offered, but we had already rented the place. We just went on stayed. He was a friend, but at the same time, we had been separated for 38 years before I went down there, so that makes it a little more cautious not to just barge in on somebody. Plus, he didn't know I was coming. He didn't know I was coming until I knocked on his son's door next door to his. He was out of town. I passed him 60 miles up the road and didn't know it. But later on, he come in. All right, I'm still 62.7 out. I'm working on 62.8. Needle is slightly below center on the right hand needle or below the goal just a little. That means I'm moving away slowly, very slowly. It could stand a little more, but if you get too fast, you'll pass it. Cause it's that sensitive when you get that close. All right, we've got 62.8. I'll bring a needle back up. And work that arch around that VOR till we find the airport we're looking for. I see the river, so it's got to be. I think I see a lake off to my left out there. As I arch, I'll be coming on around that waste of bar. And I believe off my front left, slightly to my front left, I think I see it. Now I also see something over here. No, it's just a. I, I see a. Looks like a. Nuclear tower over. I don't know if it's one done or not, but they're saying it is. Um, well, we moved in again. Moved back in enough to change that from seven, eight to seven. So we need to move back out again. That is the lake in front of me. The airport is on it, so we've got it already. The, the lake is out. You know, right here, there's an airport. I see it right there, I think. That's the lake right there we're headed for. And this is 62.7. We moved out. It, it would be in that area. Not necessarily straight over it, but I had it figured within sight of it, within range, pretty close over the runway at, at that distance. But now, if you look on the nav 1 on the left side, now the yellow needle is coming down. That's telling me I'm getting right on my mark. I, I am 62.8 now. I got to turn toward the airport a little due to the fact that my green arrow is, is below center. Put it back toward the top, and that puts me right back over the airport. 62.8 miles, and this needle, hit the, the nav one is lining. As it lines, we'll be over the airport. We're not going to worry about getting it actually lined because it's not lined with any runway or anything. It's just showing me where the airport is. I have to make my own way to the runway, so that's something we got to do on our own we can't do that so I'm gonna keep going like this right here and just a minute I'm gonna take over but I'm certain that that's the lake right there it's 3,000 acre lake right there around that area and this big spot of ground in the middle people live on it, airport and all this stuff one road in across down through the bottom of the horseshoe going into St. Joe Louisiana all right I'm fixing to make my way in I'm going to turn the autopilot off. See it jump up? This plane is so sensitive. There we go right there. Now if I remember where the runway runs left to right here before we come in. 
So now I'm going to take it manually and work on my way around the end of the airport. I actually don't see the airport yet other than that, I think it's one of the buildings, John. But it's inside that lake and that's it. gonna be a little scurry across here trying to find this airport from that other airport to this one. Like I said, I didn't know exactly where I was going to left or how long it would be. I had checked that I was located in that area where I chose the airport to go to. But I didn't know how close or how far away from that airport. <coughs> or or what I had to do to find it. I knew if I lined them them numbers up and kept them where I would find it. That's what that was all about finding it that way. Uh, I still don't see the airport itself, but that's got to be it right there. The only thing left. I may see it a little further over. Still within that area, though. I thought that white building number was it, but I'm not 100% sure that's it. But I do believe the airport's there. I just don't believe that's totally that building's there. And it might be. Let's see outside the plane and see what we've got. See, I see some more buildings over the other side of here, which feels like it's too far over there for the airport. I'm going to circle here and look around a bit. I still don't see it. Let's get back over that way. We're not around enough where it is. Oh, I do see it too. That building's it. I believe I saw a glimpse of it then. I believe I saw a glimpse of it then. All right, well, I don't pass it now. Did it take long to pass it once I started running or did it? Them buildings will go off on the way while they're going. Now they're right there. There she is, though. There's the airport. That's St. Joe, Louisiana on L33. Tennis Parish. And that's... Lake Burn. I had a fishing game called Trophy Bass 2, and there was a Lake Burn in it. This was most likely it. It's also a state park that had bass tournaments on it in the, in the game. Played that game a lot. It won't work on here, I done checked it. But no, I hadn't. I think I lied about that. I, I'm pretty sure I had trouble getting it on Windows 98, so I doubt seriously it'd work on here. 500. You had to run the game and then not let it check it. It would check for your system requirements. If you let it check in Windows 98, it wouldn't work. If you don't let it check, it'd work. And you had to make a special uh, compatibility. And under compatibility touch to make, make, mo make more stack space and it would work. But we're coming up. Here we go. Minimums. Coming in. Watch out, treetop. Take the leaves off, catch them in my wheels. 100. 50. 40. 30. 30. 20, 20, 10, 10. Let's set her down right there real light. There we go, right there. Outside the plane, get them flat back up. Oh, let's turn this thing around, take her back to the other end, park her on it. Turn right there. I'm gonna go straight just a minute and fix my config. So I can use the other parts of that radio stack that I got set up in there. 
they'll work like it is, but it's not as accurate. It don't give you much tolerance of what to, how to work it. The other way, it allows me a whole lot more flexibility. Doesn't change the actual way it applies. It just changes that way I set it up. I'll see a fuel tank. I'm going to stop right here in this parking place right here. I'm going to call it right there. Lock of brakes. I should have a 2D cockpit. I do. Let's close all this stuff out of the way. And we're going to shut this down. I didn't have lights on like this on. That's on. That's off. That's off. That's off. I'm going to leave that alone. That should be everything right there. And we got outside to check our plane again. See what we got here. I'm a little Piper Tommy Hawk. And that's going to be it for now. That's it. This town don't go bye-bye and I'll catch y'all later.